Hi Kirby fans, so today we're going to be checking out the CFM on the G3 and can we upgrade it? So what we'll do is dive straight into it. And don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products, make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. So recently I've had a lot of G3 owners contact me and saying is the G3 as powerful as the G4? And can I upgrade it to the same spec to get the same airflow out of it? Well in today's video we're going to be checking that out. With the G3 being the colour it is, you could go with the G7 Mini MT. The only issue I've got with that is it's not going to give you the most powerful CFM and airflow you can get out of that system. Now the G3 runs on a 700 watt motor the same as the G4. I know Kirby looked at changing them some design on the motor because they had a few issues with the G3's overheating. I've never had that issue with my G3. We will be looking at that at a later date. So what we'll do is dive in today's video and start running the CFM on the Kirby G3. Right, so as always, we're going to run it for 10 seconds and see what we get with a standard mini emptier. So we're just going to upgrade it now with a Sentria 2 mini emptier. So now we've got the Century 2 Mini Emptor on there, we're going to run that for 10 seconds again. And don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products, make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so first up, what we used was the standard Mini Emptier, and we ran that for 10 seconds as normal, then we upgraded to the Sentria 2, and I'll explain in a bit why I use the Sentria 2, as opposed to the G7. Right, so here we've got both Kirby G3 side by side. On the left we've got the one with G7 wheels, We've got the standard Mini MTR on there, and then on this one we've got Sentria 2 Mini MTR, and I've done the Sentria 2 wheels. So you can see there's a pretty massive difference with the colour of the wheels compared to the G7. The G7 grey fits in quite well with it, but with the colour of the base and the colour of the original wheels, I thought I was better off going with the Sentria 2, and you'll see why. Now this is the model with the Sentria 2 upgrades on the wheels and the Mini Emptier and if you'll see that the Sentria 2 colour is pretty close to what the G3 was. It's a fraction darker but I just think it looks a lot better and fits in a lot more with the G3. Just setting that model off a T back to what it originally would have looked like back in the 1990s. Let me know in the comments down below whether you've refurbished your G3, if you've used the G7 colours, or whether you've gone for the Sentria 2 and which one you prefer. So if you prefer the Sentria 2 colours, or whether you reckon the G7 colours work a lot better with that early G3. Right, so on to the results, we ran the G3 with a standard Mini MTR and it came out pretty close to what the G4 was. So it came up at 128 0.6 CFM. And then we upgraded it with the Century 2 Emptier. We've still got the standard brush roll in there, so I haven't upgraded the brush roll like I did with the G4. We've seen how that compares in the upcoming sand battle. So with the upgraded Century 2 Mini Emptier, that standard G3 from 1992, CFM of 159.4 which was a massive 30 CFM improvement over the standard Mini MTR. And as you can see, if you've got a standard G3 and it's in really good condition, you can bring that up pretty close to what a CFM is on the Avalia and pretty close to that clean efficiency. For those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. 